COVID-19 is a virus. It's like a flu virus, um, but it, it's, the problem with it is it potentially is going to cause catastrophic amounts of illness that will require hospitalisation and the use of ICU intensive care beds. We will see a huge spike on those and we're trying to flatten that spike by doing these measures. The main things we can do to try and stay well through this COVID crisis are number one, looking after our own health. That means having good sleep. It means drinking properly throughout the day and keeping well hydrated. It means a good diet, including fruit and veg, uh, nuts and seeds, whatever you like. And if you can, at least a walk of some, and some sort of exercise. So you're keeping yourself sane and well. The next part of this is to avoid contact with other people. That's called social distancing. That means you, you can go to places, but to stay away from people. But don't go to places if you don't have to. Try and keep away from crowded places like transport, buses and trains, and avoid handshakes and to avoid uh, kissing at this stage. Hand washing is really important. Uh, I'm told that two lots of happy birthday is the, the right length of time and obviously with, obviously with soap and water is preferable. Not because uh, we necessarily have dirty hands, but when we are unaware of things, we're touching surfaces which can potentially have contamination. Um, and we don't notice it, but we're constantly putting our face near our eyes, near our hands. So it's very easy for that to be the port of entry of any kind of virus. So hygiene, personal distancing, uh, and being very careful not to touch face if possible. It's very hard to do. Um, someone told me it's like, imagine you've got poo in your hands, uh, you might not do it so often then. So how long can it last? The exact figures we don't know, but we assume uh, that it's there for at least the 12 hours, but in some surfaces it can last a lot longer. All viruses start the same way, with runny eyes, runny nose, sore throat, temperature, headache. Some things may not be there in one virus or other. So the starting point of COVID is actually no different. The main problem is that you don't get better the temperature may or may not be there, but if it's there, it can be higher. You get more difficulty with the breathing, and the breathing can get progressively worse. Um, you might get abdominal symptoms of uh, upset tummy and, and, and diarrhea and vomiting and so on. Um, and it, those need to be put into the, into the right picture with the um, healthcare providers that you then consult with. And at the moment, travel and exposure to travel is an important part of that from anywhere in the world. But of course, soon when it's in the community anyway, the travel bit becomes less of an issue. The work people we worry about the most are people who are older and there's no longer the 70s, 80s and 90s, but the 50s, 60s and 70s. Um, and it's people who've got other illnesses, in particular chronic diseases like diabetes and kidney disease. People who are taking immunosuppressive medication, so people who take uh, medications for rheumatoid arthritis or cancers and so on, they're all at risk. Anybody with those illnesses are really the most at risk. If you are concerned that you might be exposed to COVID-19 or in fact any other virus, um, you might first of all just stop and take stock. Do all the sensible things that we've talked about already. Look after yourself, uh, take the fluids, take paracetamol if you've got temperature, uh, self-isolate at home. Certainly call, uh, call the hotline, won't necessarily help because it's about for COVID, you may not have COVID. Call the GP practice, um, they may do a consultation with you on the phone, which they can now do do a consultation with you by video, which they can also now do, um, and uh, get some advice. And the advice may well not be go and get tested. The advice might be stay at home, stay calm, stay comfortable, stay well, stay away from other people. If you're not getting better, then seek additional help. And that might mean revisiting that. And if you, things escalate badly enough, you might need to be tested. Where the testing will happen, time will tell as to where the test specs are actually available. My key core message is we need one hymn sheet with one song on it that everybody's singing. 
from every health department head, every chief medical officer or head of, uh, across the country, so we can actually have the same message to give to people and they don't get confused. The sites I would go to if we're looking on the, uh, on the internet include health.gov.au for the federal government, and sometimes it's worth finding stuff from other places like cdc.gov, which is the US site, and who.int, which is the World Health Organization.